Have you ever been playing video games one day and you just stop and think about one of the first times that you had ever played video games? Like the first time, not like the absolute first time, because when you first pick up a, you know, a controller when you're a kid, you don't even know what the fuck you're doing. You basically have goldfish accuracy if you ever try to fucking play a game. The first time that you actually get into a story or get into a series of a game, like, like for instance, Call of Duty. You remember those times? There were some good times. Hopefully they were for you at least. I remember playing Donkey Kong 64, Super Mario 64, Super Smash Bros. Melee, Super Mario Kart 64, and a bunch of games on the PC like Backyard Baseball, Gran Turismo 1, Metal Arms, Ratchet and Clank. There was just so many. I could go on and on and on. What were some of the first games that you really got into? So for the past like five years or so, I've gone to the Call of Duty Midnight releases. It was usually always a good time. I get so fucking hyped to go and get the the new Call of Duty and play before like most of the people could. It was just something I really looked forward to. Call me a nerd. I don't care. But most of all of the midnight releases were just normal, just going to get the game. But this specific one that I'm going to tell you guys a story about was actually so crazy. But every time I ever went to a midnight release for Call of Duty, it was just normal. I went and got the receipt, got my game right at midnight, went home and played the game. But this specific time, when I got Call of Duty Ghosts, 2013, let's bring it back, three years ago, boys. Call of Duty Ghosts, the game that everybody hated, that I loved. I absolutely loved it. I was actually playing it today. Better yet, I'm gonna have Call of Duty Ghost gameplay starting right now. Don't worry, it's actually a good gameplay, I promise. So this specific year, I actually got my pre-order at a different GameStop. The GameStop that we used to go to was really chill. There was maybe 20, 30 people that would show up in line. But this one that I had a pre-order to was a bit more chaotic, I guess. Because when we got there, there was like probably 50 people all unorganized, just like in big groups outside of the GameStop, kind of going all over the street. There was a police car just like chilling, not really doing anything. And immediately when we drove up, I just got the fucking strongest smell of that dank, of that sticky icky, the sacred skunk. And then we drive up and park, and we'd always like show up like a half an hour early because I'd always want to be first in line, but I, there was already fucking 50 people there. It was just like they were chilling there just smoking blunts or something. So I get out and I go inside to get my receipt because that's how it works. Like you go in, pay for it, get the receipt, and then you get it at midnight, you come back in to get it. So as I'm walking up to the GameStop to go get the receipt, I see one of my old drug dealers that actually took money from me right in line. Keep in mind, I'm walking through here with my dad. So I obviously didn't say anything, but we kind of made eye contact and man, that was just fucking awkward. But I remember going into GameStop and I swear, as soon as I walked through the GameStop doors to go and get this receipt, I saw this back employee door kind of shut. But as it shut, I swear I saw this like waft of just fucking smoke just come through the door like the place was hotbox back there. Now, I don't know if Triboy X Code A was just seeing things, but it definitely smelled like fucking weed in that GameStop. I finally get up to the cash register, give him the money, and he hands me the receipt, and the dude at the cash register looks so fucking baked. I can give him the benefit of the doubt, because it was late. You know, it was getting close to midnight at that point, but still, it smelled so strong in there. So I go outside, and now I'm waiting outside in line, and I can visibly see probably five or six people smoking giant joints and blunts, and, you know, as the police car is driving back and forth, like, I'm, I'm so surprised. At this point in time, you know, three years ago, I'd never been in a situation where there was just people openly smoking in front of police officers. That's fucking awesome. So I gotta say, the wait at this point was just really weird because, you know, my old drug dealer was in sight and I was standing there next to my dad. But I remember finally getting the game and just, I almost got like a sigh of relief. It's almost like you just, it was such a chaotic situation because I didn't want the old drug dealer to say anything to me. You know, there's people smoking weed all around me. I didn't get to fucking smoke any. You know, I didn't bring any. I didn't think anybody was going to smoke at GameStop. No, but in all seriousness, let me know if anything crazy has happened to you at one of these gaming events, midnight releases. Maybe you had something crazy happen to you at like a Black Friday sale or something like that. Wherever like there's just shoppers doing crazy stuff, it usually makes a good story. So if you guys have any, let me know in the comments down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, I'd appreciate it if you'd leave a thumbs up on the video and have yourself a fantastic day. Follow me on Twitter at Xcode. Stay high, stay lifted. Don't smoke weed at GameStop. Peace. I seen a lot of shit I shouldn't have, but never forgot it though. Brothers on the corner selling crack like it was not a though. Walk inside my kitchen, baking soda all up on the floor. Police banging on the dough while gripping the 44. I was just a youngin', but this type of shit.